Welcome from the Crawdaddy's Custom Crank Baits. I've been wanting to paint up this swim bait, so I figured what the heck, I'd go ahead and do a video on it. Uh, I've mixed up, first of all, I primed it in white, and I come back with a pearl silver and put on over it. Um, I'm trying a new camera position, so please bear with me. Um, trying to get used to where everything's set up at, but one of my subscribers asked me if I could try to change the camera because I, they were seeing the back of my hand in a lot of my videos. So I'm trying this new way of setting my camera up. So let's play around and see what we can come up with. And I hope y'all can see. Um, I apologize. Yeah, I've not been doing YouTube that long, maybe three months, maybe four months, but I'm learning still. But I'm gonna lay this bait down because it is so hard. It is just so wobbly, just kind of impossible to hold this thing and keep it upright. So I'm trying to lay it down and hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. But anyway, I'm gonna come across the top edge with some gold, maybe around the gill plate a little bit. the outer ring of the gill plate. I'm trying to go a little lighter. Don't want it as bright. Got a little heavy handed right there, but it's all gonna get covered up in a little bit anyway. Flip it over. And all I'm trying to do is, is find a point from A to B and, and get where I wanna go. If you ever sprayed gold, it can be a headache. Let's try the paper towel again. As I said, I, I've moved everything around and Draw that. Just flipping it over, make sure I got the roughly the same on both sides.
on the airbrush. gold I'm using is it's made by scale colors is some uh, figure painting years ago when I was doing figure painting but it just seems to spray better than Cretex and Wicked or whoever it just it just through an airbrush it sprays better you don't have the, near the trouble of spraying it and you can find that off the of eBay I believe probably Amazon probably has it, but that's the gold I use because it just sprays so easy. Um, this morning I'm drinking coffee, so bear with me. I'm really not 100% sure where I'm going with this. I, I don't know what I would really want to do. Um, I was asked do I sit down and plan out something of what I'm doing when I'm painting? No, I don't. I, I just kind of go as I, I'm painting. I, I, I try to look at it and say, man, do I want to go this way or that way? Or what way do I want to go? Um, but I have no real set. Say, this is what I'm going to do. On some of my crawfish, I do, but most of the time, you know, when it's coming to something like this, I'm, I'm playing around, uh, not hundred percent sure what I'm doing at the time, but I'm just experimenting and, and trying to come up with something different. Right now I'm just putting in some green ink. It's like here. When I first sat down, I said, man, I'm going to not put the green, but I think I just need to put some green. So I'm just going to come across this top edge. Slowly building it up. I'm going to come around the eye a little bit. Like I said, I, I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, this is kind of odd in, a, in the camera position I'm, I'm new at. But I'm trying. Gonna add a little bit of green color to the tail section. Trying to keep it darker there towards the body of the bait. Just trying to work some of the darker color in the cracks. As I said, this bait is wobbly and kind of hard to paint, but. see what we can come up with.
again, I'm just going to put some green on the end of the tail. Clean this out of my airbrush real quick. As I said, I'm just really kind of playing around. I really don't know how I want to go with it. Um, man, I wish I could get that thing to set up better. I don't know if you all can see it or you can't see it. I'm kind of at a loss right now if y'all can see or not see. Um, I don't know whether I want to use some shade shifter paint on this or not. Um, I played around and, and, and made up some different colors. Uh, I'm new at this stuff, you know, and I'm learning, but um, I don't know whether to go with a brown on the back and come with a shade shift or go with black with a shade shift. I think I'm going to try the black. A lot of times when you put colors down, you think you're color, color, uh, covering your colors up, but a lot of times you, you're leaving it where you can actually see your colors. I'm gonna come around the eyes just a little bit. I'm try to darken in that socket and bring a little bit of that black out. Like I said, these things are painting the butt to paint. I've never painted one of these. What I'm gonna do now is just come around this end. Oh, maybe I am. I just want to put a little bit of dark edge. On that tail.
turn it over. Sure you get the back side of everything. in the edge of the tail. looking at it and I'm not real sure if I want to put the shade shift on I'm really liking the color of it the way it is um, I may leave it and not put shade shift I'm not for sure uh, just cross that road when I get to it you just want to make sure you go around all your tips Darken your edges. Make sure you got the back of the fan here on top. Yeah, I'm not real sure what I want to do. Um, I may put some dots here just to give it a little bit more added life. Yeah, that is, this is something that if you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't, you don't have to do it. Um, I'm just trying to give it a little bit of life to it on the gill plate there. Here you can go as heavy as you want or as light as you want. just gives you a little bit more life to it. Um, I'm thinking on this one is using these scales here. I'm not 100% sure if that's what I want to do or not. But what I'm 
gonna try to do is just use individual, just do one piece at a time. I was just not laying down real well, but I'm not wanting real dark scales. Just really to make sure where it looks like it has some scales. sure exactly where I got this this from I, I want to say lurebuild.com I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, I'm gonna flip it over do the same thing as I said this is just a step if you want to do it you can do it I, I'm just trying to add a little bit of life to it Wish I can get that to hold down better. Well, my stupid compressor is getting old like me and wore out. I just can't get it to lay down like I'm wanting it to lay down. I'm afraid I'm gonna get over spray underneath it. I went a little heavier there on the scales, but I didn't. and match that. I don't want to. It's hard to see them. I'm not going to worry about it. I had some bigger templates and I don't know where they are. For Shad Dot. cleaned up, I moved everything and misplaced my shad dot.
all I'm doing is I notice I nicked a couple spots. I'm just coming back and touching them up a little bit. But I don't think I'm going to use shade shift on this. Um, I'm really. Darken around that tail a little bit more. I'm really happy on the way it's come out. Just trying to go in between the cracks right there and darken that in to get some shadow, and I'm just bringing it around the tail section a little bit, darken that in. I uh, hope y'all can see what this looks like on camera on the way I've got it positioned. everything over should have had all this out prior to doing it There's a little trick that you can do too if you wanna dull down your eyes. You can come back over with some paint, real thin paint, and lightly go over it and it tone those eyes down if you want them toned down. But anyway, that's what it looks like. I'm very happy with the way it came out. Um, can't wait to get some clear on it. Uh, but anyhow, I hope my new camera position, y'all can see, you know, what it looks like better or what I'm doing better. But I was going to come back and put shade shift on the, the top of it to change it. But I am really happy of the color that it came out with and the, and the way it overall turned out. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. But anyway, that's what I had this morning for you at Crawl Daddy's. Uh, I want to thank the ones who subscribed, who follow me. Um, please like and share. Um, but until next time, we'll be seeing you at Crawdaddy's, and thank you.